Cool is in the eye of the beholder. Some things are practically unanimous, like James Dean, California, and lattes. I know, as a grown-up, I am supposed to do what makes me happy, cool or not. It doesn't matter what others think. Somehow, I can't keep this logic in my head. I want to do what my parents didn't do for me, be cool around my kids, but still be me, cool. I do what I like, and sometimes I think I'm being cool until someone tells me I'm not. Family, and teens especially, are good at identifying frauds. <laughs> Moms can't win. I dress for the day in something I think is fashionable, a navy sweater sprinkled with understated jewels from J. Crew. I pair it with distressed skinny jeans and spiky-toed ballet flats. I'm still in my I-think-I-look-fine outfit at middle school pickup. I purposely arrive a little early so I can talk to my friend on the sidewalk, like the kindergarten years. So far, my 13-year-old son hasn't said it wasn't cool to wait in plain sight. On this day, he barely says hello and only glares at me as if he's looking at a horror show, eyes wide like saucers. He saunters past, holding his hand up for the car keys, avoiding eye contact. He often waits for me in the car. I can talk a lot. For him not to even ask for the keys or look at me spells trouble. I quickly say goodbye and head over to the car with him. What's wrong, I ask? Get in the car before my friends see me with you in that sweater. Is it new? <laughs> it looks old. <laughs> I tell him I like the sweater a lot. Did you show your friend when she came over yesterday, he presses. Did she like it? I didn't have any doubts, so I didn't think to ask. I pick up my high schooler in the same outfit. As he gets into the car, he exclaims, is that new? When did you get it? It looks old. I don't like it. <laughs> he sees my new bright yellow tote in the back. Did you get a new purse too? He's practicing to be a husband. <laughs> Geez, do I need to defend myself to more than one male in the house? <laughs> I think I know how my younger brother felt when he said he had four moms, three of them sisters. I didn't dress to impress my kids this day. Gads, I didn't want to be a walking freak show either. I wasn't even trying. When I think I'm trying, I catch up on popular music. I thought my family would be thrilled I'm breaking out of my 80s collection. I try to talk to them about Grammy Award winning tunes I just love. Do you know Some Nights by Fun? I ask my husband. No, I don't listen to pop music. He replies with an air of, I don't eat white bread or drink white zin either. <laughs> my boys say the same thing in stereo. We don't like pop music. This time I did try to be cool and failed. Sometimes I get direction on how to be cool. My middle school son loves to blast music in the car, especially if he thinks the song is cool and we are driving into the high school parking lot for swim practice. His swim friends are in the back seat. He rolls down the window for good measure. I pipe up, hey, wait a minute. We can't drive into the parking lot with the music blaring. I'll look like a bad mom. My son disagrees. Come on, mom. Everyone will think you are cool. <laughs> when I stop to let him out, I say, get out of the car fast before my friends see me and take your music with you. <laughs> His cool is not my cool. Later, when I want to blast the music at home, it's a different story. I rarely play music while I cook dinner, but I'm in the mood. My older son stretches an injured leg in front of the TV. He doesn't want me to interrupt his show. Gosh darn it, I think. I couldn't play music growing up unless my parents were gone. Now I'm the parent and the kids don't want me to play it. This is insane. So I blast the music for a bit until clearly my older son has enough. Guns and Roses, Sweet Child of Mine, is shaking the house. <laughs> My older son suggests to me it's rather loud. I shrug him off. He steps out the front door for a minute and comes back. It's just as I thought. I can hear the music from across the street. <laughs> Says Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> the song ends. I turn off the stereo. I got my fix. Days later, we talk about being cool. I ask the boys, am I okay? My mom was so not cool. At least I don't remember her that way. And really, nobody's mom was cool like today's moms. I just can't imagine I am like my mom. I don't wear the same orange polyester no-press pants. Mine are black and called yoga pants. <laughs> I don't listen to elevator music while I iron hank handkerchiefs either. My boy's response, you are cool for a mom. You are not cool for a teenager. I can live with that. Thank you. <laughs>